and Rajasthan Chief Minister Shok Gehlot uh, blamed by many Congress leaders for the rebellion of uh, his loyalist MLAs in Rajasthan has been exonerated in the report submitted to party chief Sonia Gandhi. State in charge Ajay Markan, who was present in Jaipur for Sunday's drama and submitted the report, has advised action against those three MLAs. The list includes uh, Chief Whip uh, Mahesh Joshi, as well as RTDC Chairman Dharmendra Rathor and Shanti Dharewal, who hosted uh, the parallel meeting of MLAs where they passed a resolution of the next uh, Chief Minister. The party has uh, served a show cause notice to the three Rajasthan leaders for what it calls an act of grave indiscipline and has also sought a response within uh, 10 days. Now, if we talk about uh, the party president uh, issue, well, Ashok Ghalot, who was the front runner for the post, is still not out of the race, even though Gandhis are upset uh, with this rebellion. Well, let's go across to Sunil Prabhu uh, for more. And Sunil, the other development today is that uh, Sachin Pilot is coming to Delhi. He's already in Delhi. He's been in Delhi since yesterday. Right, he's expected to meet with Sonia Gandhi and so is Ashok Gehlot. Yeah, both uh, uh, are expected. Uh, actually, they had to find a way forward. And, uh, 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 you know, senior Congress leaders who are part of the Congress Working Committee have briefed uh, the Congress President of the developments that have taken place. Uh, while uh, uh, show cause notices have been issued to Gehlot uh, loyalists, uh, there has been certain misgivings that have taken place. Uh, because uh, uh, from Mr. Ashok Golit's uh, uh, point of view, uh, the one post, one principle applies when he becomes the president. As of now, today, he's not the president yet. And uh, in what context, uh, uh, you know, do you resign? How do you go forward? These are certain issues that need to be uh, clarified. Having said that, uh, they, they understand the situation. Mr. Gelot has made a public announcement that he uh, would like to contest for the post of Congress president after Rahul Gandhi made it clear uh, that neither him nor anybody from his family will be contesting. And uh, uh, he seems to be, uh, uh, you know, an overwhelming choice of most uh, Congress workers who are part of that entire electoral college. Uh, and it's in this uh, context that they're trying to see a way forward. Uh, and see if they can bury the hatchet. Uh, people like Ambika Soni as well as Ashok, uh, Mr. Anand Sharma have been speaking to him, uh, and they are part of the Congress Working Group in their group, uh, subgroup, which is called Political Advisory Group to assist the Congress President. And uh, they have uh, uh, been consulting and speaking to Mr. Ashok Kulot, and they try to find a way forward. Uh, but in case that situation doesn't emerge, then definitely uh, they have another plan B to see uh, who could be an acceptable leader uh, person uh, who, uh, who would be able to fit the bill. So in this backdrop, uh, we have seen these events uh, unfold. Uh, at present, uh, it's a, a fluid situation, uh, but not many are happy uh, with the way uh, Mr. Ajay Makan uh, and his team have handled the entire episode uh, that has taken place in Rajasthan. They say it's reminiscent of what happened in Punjab. Uh, the same people went and handled it so badly that uh, Congress was wiped out uh, from that state, uh, border state of uh, Punjab, and it's in the same context that they're reminding uh, the Congress president uh, that the same Mr. Ajay Makan, uh, who was the screening committee chairperson, who has been responsible for the Congress's decimation in Punjab and in the state of Delhi, and he hasn't even been able to win in states in his own state of Delhi uh, and leave alone uh, right. in getting a member of parliament uh, seat in uh, in the Rajya Sabha from Haryana. So uh, a lot of daggers on him too. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see how it plays out in the next few hours. Right. Uh, so, Sunil, are we expecting today to, you know, this entire crisis, you know, will it be resolved because, uh, you know, it just uh, it's, it's bad for the Congress for this crisis to continue even longer? That's right. I, I, I think uh, there is an attempt to try to find a way forward uh, as soon as possible. In fact, uh, they, they would be happy to resolve it today. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, there is always a touch and go right. in these uh, political negotiations and uh, definitely attempts are being made uh, to resolve this at the earliest.